Number 15. Hitman. Another key component of what makes up the world of deep web shopping is the Hitman services that are offered by several different sites. Much like the Silk Road, transactions are made using the Bitcoin currency to maintain as much anonymity as possible. One site offers an assassination in the US or Canada for $10,000 and one in Europe for $12,000. Although commonly prices range depending on the person you're looking to kill, these hitmen for hire often sell their services stating that a regular person is $10,000 while a political official or public figure is $100,000 or more depending on their importance. It's strange to think that one human's life has more monetary value than another's, but it's a cold truth in the world of murder for cash. Some sites seem to offer others the chance to profit from their killings by allowing users to bet on when a victim will die by putting money in a pool. The closest guess wins. There are apparently different types of hitmen that you can hire, ranging from cold-blooded, the torturers, and the humane. All titles are pretty self-explanatory, and seeing as this is a business, it makes sense to have a different approach than your competitors. It has been estimated that a mere 15.9% of deep web hired hitmen have been caught. Some hitmen claim to have been in business for over 7 years meaning they've been killing and cashing in for that long without ever being caught. And just imagine how many are offering their services. Number 14. The Deep Web is a Recruiting Tool Cicada 3301 is a name given to a secret organization that have on three different occasions published a set of complex puzzles to allegedly recruit highly intelligent individuals. While these puzzles have been posted on many different platforms and shared from there on, it's claimed that the deep web is where most of the clues lay. The first puzzle was published in January 2012 and lasted about a month. The puzzles focused heavily on data security, cryptography, and steganography. In February of that same year, Cicada made a post on 4chan stating, We have now found the individuals we sought. Thus, our month-long journey ends. People have made claims that on other sites, some of which were in the deep web, the Cicada leaders posted a congratulations to the winners and explained that their organization was focused on researching and developing techniques to aid the ideas we advocate, liberty, privacy, and security. This is one of the many reasons that people believe the government actually uses the deep web as means to recruit individuals for secret agencies. Many people who tried to crack the codes published by Cicada claimed that not even their best decoding software could get the job done. The US would be interested in people that are able to crack such codes for their own cracking needs, such as messages sent amongst terrorist groups and for accessing anonymous information posted online in relation to crime. They could also use these experts to secure their own codes and be sure they're undecodable by the common citizen. Number 13. Malware can easily be obtained. This should come as a warning to anyone wanting to explore the deep web. Aside from all the illegal activities and possible jail time, malware can be obtained easier than a common cold. A JavaScript exploit can be used to upload malware into the user's computer, meaning a keylogger can be installed without your knowledge and your passwords will be compromised. This means not only information to your Facebook and Twitter, but more severe information like credit card numbers, bank account numbers, and even personal information such as full name and address. One of the most famous malware used on the surface web, which is also making its debut down in the deep web, is called the Citadel Trojan. While it is capable of being used to carry out many malicious and criminal tasks, it is often used to steal banking information by man in the browser keystroke logging and form grabbing. It is also used to install the CryptoLocker ransomware. However, this vicious malware is just a popular example of the different types available down in the deep web. There are plenty of malwares that people haven't even heard of yet. This is a main reason so many people suggest not to visit the deep web. Number 12. The Size of the Deep Web When it comes to the internet, many people like to explain it as being in layers, with the web we use in our daily lives being the very top layer of it all. Facebook, YouTube, and Google are all basic top-layer sites. 
Even those strange porn sites that seem like they don't belong on the web are only the tip of the iceberg. A study done by the University of California, Berkeley in 2001, came to the conclusion that the deep web is about 7.5 petabytes large. That's 7,500 gigabytes. A mere two years later in 2003, that amount of information increased to 91,850 petabytes. Furthermore, the deep web is estimated to account for about 96% of all content on the internet, while the top layer is only about 4%. That's about 1 billion pages on the regular web, versus about 550 billion on the deep web. So to sum it all up, the deep web is about 500 times larger than the regular web. That being said, if you think the cannibals, child porn, and murder are scary, just take a second to think about all the sites lost in the deep web that no one has stumbled upon or reported yet. Number 11. Silk Road Transactions The deep web is full of different types of black markets. You can find everything from heroin and illegal weapons to pretzels and baby spirits. However, the most popular of all the black markets out there is the Silk Road. The website was launched in February 2011 after a six month development period. The Silk Road mostly sells drugs, and its most popular item is weed of course. In February 2011, it was found that the Silk Road had made about $15 million worth of transactions, with that amount doubling or tripling over a 12 month period. These figures are equivalent to roughly $1.2 billion in revenue and $79.8 million in commissions at current Bitcoin exchange rates. According to information provided by users when registering, 30% of sales were from the United States, 27% chose to be undeclared, and beyond that, in order from highest to lowest, the United Kingdom, Australia, Germany, Canada, Sweden, France, Russia, Italy, and the Netherlands. During a 60-day period, there are over 1,200,000 messages sent over Silk Road's secure messaging features. The Silk Road has been shut down by special projects aimed to lower black market sales about four times, yet each time it comes back with a new name and even more sales. Number 10. The Deep Web Helped the Government in August 2013, the US government intercepted messages being sent amongst senior Al-Qaeda officials that discussed US embassies as their targets. This alerted the US government and gave them time to react. As a result, in sort of a strategic plot, the US shut down 22 US embassies across the Middle East and North Africa as an attempt to remove them as being targets. These messages were joined with threats from Yemen as well as rumors that Al Qaeda had been tied to prison breaks in the region that led to the escape of hundreds of terrorists and other criminals. The messages were being sent through some sort of special outlet on the deep web basically an anonymous email service, similar to Hotmail but without the IP. This use of the deep web emphasizes how it is an aid to terrorists, but also that the US government clearly has major access to it. This event helped contribute to a vast amount of theories surrounding the fact that the government actually knows all of the dark shit going on in the deep web, and simply doesn't care. However, that's a little unfair to say. Every time the US does manage to shut down a site, it just pops back up a few months later. Number 9. Women and their stillborns Yet another creepy deep website that is exactly what it seems. This website is sort of a special breed amongst the deep web. There's nothing sexually deviant about it, as well as nothing being sold illegally. This site is where women share photos of their stillborn children because they can't deal with the pain and they are using it as an outlet to find other women going through the same thing. Although it's pretty creepy to think of the photo gallery filled with photos of dead fetuses, this is a very hard thing for a woman to go through, and this is actually a pretty healthy way of coping. While there is a site much like this available on the surface web, there is something that is said to be a little more haunting available on the deep web, which includes home video footage of women giving birth to their stillborns. Again, the site seems to have no sexual connotation attached to it, nothing more than mothers looking for a place to grieve. Number 8. Journalists use the deep web 
Although to members of more free societies, the deep web seems like an underground railroad for drugs and gross fetishes, it is actually useful for much more important things around the world. In countries with very heavy censorship or internet laws, like North Korea and Saudi Arabia, the reporters and journalists use the deep web to research what's going on in other parts of the world, as well as to exchange information amongst each other. These journalists and even government officials can use the deep web to access basic everyday news of what is going on that may affect their own country. They usually report such information to others in their profession, or if possible to the people of their own country. The deep web also offers anonymous email services that many of these reporters use in order to communicate with others doing the same research, and even with citizens from freer countries to obtain information. It seems unlikely that a North Korean journalist may email a random person surfing the web just to say, hey, how's your country? But it's the deep web and stranger things have happened. Number 7. Currency Since the deep web offers a variety of products that we can't pick up at our local store, a special kind of currency must be used. You, unfortunately, can't use cash, check, or credit to buy drugs and illegal weapons. The deep web operates on a totally different currency known as Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a peer-to-peer -peer system released in 2009 that allows users to either mine this internet currency or to use it as online money. One full Bitcoin equals about 255 US dollars and 230 euros. The deep web uses this form of payment because, well, Bitcoin does not assure complete anonymity, it is much safer than exchanging any sort of account information. This offers both the seller and the buyer protection from the law, as well as from fraud or getting ripped off. Number 6. The Arab Spring Activists The Arab Spring Revolution, shortened to the Arab Spring, was a revolutionary wave of demonstrations and protests, riots, and civil wars in the Arab world that began in December 2010. The Arab Spring was widely caused by a dissatisfaction with the local government, while the wave of the initial revolutions and protests faded by mid-2012, some still continued on into a conflict known as the Arab Winter. Activists for this intense revolution communicated on the deep web to organize certain events. The activists used vague and anonymous chat rooms, as well as special email services to send out information, such as locations of the next protests and even more violent things, such as attacks of government officials, depending on who was leading the event. Number 5. Origins and Funding The Onion Router was first developed by a non-profit group called the Tor Project. 1.2 million went into the project in 2012. Today, it is considered to be one of the only anonymity browsing systems that government surveillance programs, such as the ones designed by the NSA, cannot bypass. Tor is sponsored by the United States Department of State Bureau of Democracy, Human Rights and Labor, the Ford Foundation, Swedish International Development Cooperation Agency, amongst other government-backed groups. In fact, most of these government-backed groups are still listed on Tor's site under active sponsors in 2015. The U.S. Department of State Bureau of Democracy, Human Rights and Labor is a special unity of the U.S. government dedicated to promoting freedom and democracy and protecting human rights around the world, and is actually under agreement to continue funding until 2016. Things like this, along with puzzles, scavenger hunts, and a general disregard of all the illegal happenings on the deep web have led to a huge conspiracy theory that the US government is in control of the deep web. This is partially true considering that some politicians use the deep web to communicate about scandals and plans. However, that larger conspiracies that the US keeps the red rooms open in order to secure a balance of good and evil in the world seems a little more far-fetched. However, with all that has come up, there's no doubt that the US knows exactly what is going on in all of the darkest parts of the deep web, and has simply chosen to do little to nothing about it. Number 4. Cannibal Sites Just like black market sales sites, the deep web also seems to be booming with cannibalistic sites. Everything from cannibal chat rooms to cookbooks, you can find it on the deep web. 
there are sites that are as simple as discussing things such as the user's first time eating human flesh. However, there are other sites where people can actually volunteer to be eaten, or to meet with a fellow cannibal and eat each other. While most of the people offering themselves to do it is for fetish reasons, many of them actually do it for money. There have been stories spread across the web about how people on the deep web will offer themselves up as a meal for a flesh-hungry cannibal in order to have money left for their family. While the exact details about this are unknown, it's assumable that the cannibals hands the money over to the family before devouring the sacrifice. The whole thing comes off as completely medieval. Number 3. Security Blogger Framed In August 2013, Internet security journalist Brian Krebs was sent a package of heroin in order to frame him for a drugs charge. This all came about when Krebs attempted to expose a deep web Russian credit card fraudster, or Carter. Krebs had created a certain hate for himself amongst the black market community, which helped the Carter, who goes by Fly, to raise bitcoins to order a gram of heroin off the Silk Road and have it sent to Krebs' home. Fly also made a tip to the police, posing as Krebs' neighbor. However, Krebs was one step ahead of them and had already seen Fly's threat about his plans and was able to prevent any trouble from stirring. Krebs had grown used to such attacks as he was once a victim of swatting, which is an attack method used by cyber criminals in which they make a fake distress call from your address. This leads to SWAT teams swarming your home and threatening you. The SWAT attack happened in March of 2013. A SWAT team was called to his home by hackers, who apparently took offense at his investigations into various online hacking organizations. Fly, the Carter, was interviewed and said that his main reason for the attack was because Krebs had a tendency to try and popularize carding. Although most carters in the community prefer to keep it a secret, so that no more people try to become carters, because clearly, the less carters the better, for both victims and criminals. Number 2. Hidden Wiki If the deep web had a home page, it would be the Hidden Wiki. It operates much like our everyday wikis, anyone can anonymously edit the pages after registering on the site. The main page serves as a directory of links to other .onion sites, although this wiki is visible on the surface web and lists links to deep websites, they still cannot be accessed without the Tor browser. The first version of the hidden wiki was founded sometime before October 2011, and at some point prior to August 2013, the site was hosted on Freedom Hosting, which is another engine used to search the dark web. In March 2014, the site and its domain was hacked and redirected to Doxbin. Following this event, the content began to be mirrored to more locations. Number 1. Mariana's Web The past year has seemed to be filled with more and more information being released about the deep web, and while it can be a useful place to buy your month's supply of weed, or to help a country lead a revolution, it also has its terrifying side full of rape, murder, and satanic video games. If you think the scary side of the deep web is as bad as it gets, you're sadly mistaken. In recent years, another layer of the deep web has been reported. Mariana's web is the umbrella of all the terrifying things available on the deep web. Well, the deep web seems to have a variety of things, including things that are not harmless at all, Mariana's web seems to only have malicious content. Mariana's web is named after Mariana's Trench, the deepest part of the ocean, and that's exactly what it is. It's, al it's allegedly as deep as the web goes. While very few people have ventured to such a dark place, it is said to have the worst child porn and gore available. Got an idea for a top 15 list? Submit it at top15s.net slash submit. Be sure to subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching.